Now, you may have noticed a tool called Traceroute, which is an interesting way of, of looking at how traffic works across your network at layer three. If you type Traceroute and some IP address, then you will see a series of IP addresses, which are the hops that uh, the traffic goes through to reach that destination. So the question I'm raising here is, how does that work? How does it even know what routers have gone through? Well, if you've not seen this before, then you won't know the answer. This is a very clever piece of, uh, of engineering. The, there is a field in the IPv4 header called the time to live, TTL. And that is a counter which is decremented every time that the packet, the datagram, is forwarded from one router to another router. So it will start at some value, let's say 64, and then it, after going one hop, it will be decremented to 63, and then it'll decrement to 62. If it ever decrements to zero, then a router will throw the packet away. And this was designed as a safety feature, and the safety feature is so that packets can't just keep going round and round your network. If there's a misconfiguration in your network so that the forwarding tables are set up with a loop, you don't want datagrams going round and round forever. So the TTL decrements, and if it reaches zero, the datagram is thrown away, and that stops your uh, network collapsing due to these packets. However, Traceroute uses this in a really interesting way. What it does is it sends a test packet to your destination with a TTL of one. So it will go from your starting point to the first router. The first router will decrement from one to zero, and then it will throw the packet away because the TTL has reached zero. But as well as doing that, it should send back an ICMP error message back to the origin saying, sorry, I couldn't deliver your packet. Time to live exceeded. So in receiving this response, you've learned the IP address of the, of the router that's one hop away from you. So then you can send the packet with a time to live of two. It will go to the first router, be decremented to one, go to the second router, and then that router will throw the packet away and send back an ICMP error saying, sorry, I couldn't deliver your packet, time to live exceeded. And the source address of that error message tells you the IP address of that router and so on. By sending these test probes with increasing TTLs, you can actually learn the topology of your network, which routers your packet is tracing through. So it's a useful um, debugging tool. Thank you.